Hello everybody, Tom Cosm here. I've got some really exciting news for you today. Uh, I've teamed up once again with Splice Sounds to create a sample pack. Now this sample pack is something that I've been pondering for years and years and nobody's ever really come close to, to what I actually wanted so I've decided to make it myself. I spent a couple of months very painstakingly making this and getting it right and uh, I hope it's useful for you because I think every producer, modern day electronic music producer, would really benefit from something within this pack. Um, so the pack is called Black Noise and Black Noise is basically silence so it's a whole collection of different types of carefully crafted silence. Uh, we've got parallel compressed silence, we've got RCL circuit noise reduction silence, there's even a Linkwitz Riley 24 dB octave slope filtered silence. Uh, so it's really 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 handy stuff. Uh, I've made them all in one second, five second, ten second or twenty second long samples and um, I'll show you some practical use on how this can be uh, used within your track. So here's a bit of a melody coming in in this track that I'm working on at the moment. Where is it? There it is right there. And you'll see we've got a second drop coming up. The problem is that second drop isn't really giving the punch that I need. It's, it's quite a weak drop. Um, and so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize one of these silent samples to actually boost that drop. Now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select everything just before the drop, like so, and I'm going to delete it. So now we have absolutely no content just before the drop. Uh, I'm going to go down and create a new audio track and we will rename this to silence. And let's pick a silence. What's a good one? I might use the comb filtered resonance reduction one because that's one of my favorite uh, silences within the sample pack. And I'm just going to drag that down over there. Remember, this is where the, uh, the, the stuff I deleted goes. Um, I'm just going to open it up and make sure that we've uh, warped it correctly. Might bring that one there, bring that down a bit. That's all good. And I'm going to bring back the uh, sample endpoint to there. So now we actually have a comb filtered resonance reduction silence just before the drop. And I think that's really going to amplify the drop. It's it's a really, it's kind of leading on. It's, it's telling you that the drop's about to happen. Um, let's have a quick listen to it. So you can hear that silence there really kind of emphasizes that drop. Let's go back a little bit. Very good, but what we could even do is let's go into the clip uh, modulation here and we'll choose the transposition and what we'll do is I'll do a pitch bend. So we'll have, the, we'll have it from the silence from negative 11 all the way up to, we'll make it a whole octave, might as well. So a whole octave of silence slowly pitching up. So that's going to kind of create a build up effect into that drop. So that's what, that, that's one practical example. Again, a lot of music these days are really lacking dynamics. It's really difficult to, uh, you know, a lot of people really push things and push things and they forget how useful silence can actually be. Um, another, let's use another practical example. So I'm going to move down to the outro here. So we've got this, uh, we've got this clip here, which is just frozen. It's kind of a fake FM guitar kind of sound. And then we've got one more here. But I think that goes on for a little bit too long. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to choose what kind of silence should we use here? Uh, we'll use, let's use the uh, the clean all pass and we'll use 10 seconds and I'm going to drag that over the top of this original kind of guitar sample sound. So it's it's taken it over but what we can use is the curves in Ableton to actually curve this out like so. So it's kind of mixing the silence with the original and that means I can bring the volume up a little bit here, bring it back a little bit and now what happens is this fake guitar thing is actually going to fade out for us. So it's a lot shorter, it's, 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 it's a lot better of an outro than the original long one. So that's another practical use you can use for it. I'm sure you can come up with heaps and heaps and heaps of uh, cool ideas on how to use this. I Please please tell me if you find something unique to do with this. The, the possibilities are endless, it's really really cool stuff here. Um, I'll also, I'll also show you one more thing. I've, I've created a Max for Live patch, which uh, pretty much does the same thing. And this is kind of a bonus, and it's free, of course. So let's go back to our melody here. And I'm going to solo it. Kind of a cheesy, kind of 80s 
90s synthy poppy thing but I've got this patch here called black noise now what black noise does is it allows you to mix silence in at, with as an actual audio effect so the first thing you do is you pick what frequency you want the silence to be or the black noise uh, I'm gonna pick about mm, let's go for about 8 kilohertz there there's a generator seed, so this this kind of generates the randomness of the silence. This goes from zero to hundred, uh, a million, I believe. So it doesn't really matter what this is. It's just so so you don't get the same silence each time that you use this particular device. You can change the uh, change the seed. There's also a high pass filter and a low pass filter. So I'm going to bring the high pass up quite high and bring the low down quite low. And now what will happen is if we play this melody and I bring the dry wet up. You can hear it's mixing in the silence that I've just created with the original sound. So if I bring it back to zero, completely dry, you can hear it, there's no silence whatsoever, or black noise, but as I bring this up, we start getting the black noise coming through, which is really interesting. Uh, there's also a rhythmical gate, so if I can turn this on, it does it automatically for you. Adds the silence, dry, wet, 100% zero. We can go really fast if we want. Or we can pick none. You can also choose what type of black noise you want. So there's a drop down menu here. We've got regular black, pitch black, carbon black, super black, vanta black, onyx black, olive black, black bean, jet black, airy black, licorice black, and we've got hexadecimal as well. And I'm not too sure what this one is, but it does sound really good. It's a nice crisp kind of silence. So let's have a listen to that. Bring the dry wet down. Might bring the high pass up a bit. So yeah, very, very handy, very handy for dynamics, very handy to uh, to kind of fix up the volume of something within your mix. Um, there's also one added little bonus thing here in this patch, and it's actually a wave sport area. So once you've actually found the particular black noise that really works for you, say you, say you find the perfect combination, uh, let's say we're black bean and and generator C here, here or whatever, what you can do is you can set a destination. So I'm choosing this folder here, which is the black noise test. You give it a name, so we'll go noise test and then hit OK and what that means is that silence is now generating I'm gonna put it up to 100% wet and when I click start it's gonna start recording straight to the hard drive that silence so let's go five seconds and stop very good now let's change the seed a little bit change the frequency maybe bring the high pass down a bit bring the low pass all the way down and let's do it again so I'm gonna start recording again you'll notice it goes up in increments here so each time you start and stop it gives it a new number and this number is added to the file name um, you can also change the uh, bit depth if you like um, let's just do one more let's go let's make it at a low frequency black noise and bring that up a little bit and we'll just start there and we'll wait five seconds again and we'll stop now if I go into my finder in my Mac you'll see that we now have three original black noise samples that you can create yourself so let's have a quick listen to those very nice let's listen to number two or number one not too bad I could have picked a different grain and maybe a higher pass filter there but never mind and then third one excellent and then you're free to use these within your project in any way that you want you can drag them anywhere you can do anything with them with them one thing that I find really handy with these is they're good placeholders so let's say you're writing a track and uh, you haven't quite figured out what you're gonna do with this particular synth line you can actually drag some white noise in there and it kind of just fills it out in the meantime it kind of like it's kind of like a placeholder you don't want nothing there because if you just have nothing there then you don't hear you don't really get or hear anything but with these white noise samples you can actually it just gives it a bit of body and kind of helps hold the place while you're working on the rest of your mix so go ahead to splice sounds grab this it is free it's free credits i believe there's going to be a promo code in the description splice have very kindly offered a promo code to people um and yeah, grab it. Max for Live Patch is free as well. That will be in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've spent weeks, months, years pondering this, and it's finally happened. So please do enjoy it. Thank you. My name's Tom Cosm.